Good afternoon, class. Sorry for reaching late. Thank you, David. Um, <laughs> the announcement. Okay, firstly, Harry, stop messaging me on Facebook at 3 o'clock in the morning. All the information is right there. Secondly, David, stop using that instant notes <laughs> desk. You will fail the exam. So for today's class, we will be doing the urea cycle, which is part of nitrogen metabolism. The urea cycle, why do we need to know it? It is a part of the syllabus. There will be a tutorial session as well as an online quiz based on this topic, and it is coming for exam. The topics we will cover in this lecture today are the function of the urea cycle, where it occurs, the different types in different organisms, the reactions involved in the urea cycle, and the enzymes facilitating these reactions, and disorders or diseases in the urea cycle. Why do we need the urea cycle? What is the function? Well, when animals eat food containing protein, and this is broken down, ammonia is formed. Ammonia is bad because it is toxic to animals. It can cause comatose and other problems associated with the brain. It therefore must be excreted through the urea cycle, and this occurs in the liver. Different types of excretion in different animals are ureotelic, which occurs in most terrestrial organisms that excrete nitrogen in the form of urea, such as humans, cats and dogs. Urecotelic occurs in organisms that excrete nitrogen in the form of uric acid, such as birds and reptiles. Ammonotelic occurs in organisms that excrete it as ammonia, such as fish. Here is our urea cycle diagram. What you will need to pay attention to is the enzymes involved in this, the substrates and the different products, and where in the cell, whether the mitochondrial matrix or the cytosol, where these reactions are occurring. So to start with, calomel phosphate synthetase 1 is the main regulatory enzyme for the urea cycle. When carbon dioxide and ammonia and ATP is combined, this forms carbon oil phosphate, catalyzed by this, this enzyme here. N-acetylglutamate is an allosteric activator for carbon oil phosphate synthetase 1. Carbon oil phosphate is added to ornithine in the mitochondrial matrix and it is forming citrulline. And this process is facilitated by the enzyme ornithine trans carbamylase. When citrulline is formed in the mitochondrial matrix, it leaves and goes into the cytosol and it is then forming arginosusinate. This reaction is catalyzed by arginosusinate synthetase. The enzyme is called a synthetase because it uses an ATP molecule. Arginosusinate forms arginine via arginosusinate lyase. In this reaction though, Humorate is formed, which is converted to malate, then oxaloacetate, which is converted to aspartate. This goes back into this reaction here, where citrulline is converted to arginosusinate, which uses ATP to form AMP plus PPI. When arginine is formed, it is converted to ornithine, and in this process, arginase is used, and this is where urea is formed. Water goes into this reaction to form these two products. Now, from the structure that we can see of urea, it is made up of two nitrogen molecules and a carbon. The carbon comes from the carbon dioxide, and the nitrogen first one comes from free ammonia. The second one comes from aspartate. Now, we don't have the structure here, but we don't need to know these structures for these amino acids but just know that the second nitrogen comes from aspartate. When ornithine is formed here, it goes back into the mitochondrial matrix and the cycle repeats. 
One thing we need to note for the exam is that I can ask the question like how many ATP molecules are consumed per the turn of the cycle. Another way I can ask this question is how many high energy phosphates are needed. Also, any deficiency in any one of these enzymes can cause disorders in the urea cycle of persons. So, does everybody understand? Every pathway know how it is regulated. Humorage, fluid can be converted to many things. Balance is just one example. Also, pay attention to the 20 standard amino acids in humans and the 8 essential elements. Arginine is not one of the essential. We get this from the urea site. Harry and David, excuse me. You're not even paying attention. Come on, come. On. Join me. Sorry, right, miss. Both of you. molecules used in one turn of the cycle to make one molecule of urea? How many? Well, in the mitochondrial matrix, mm -hmm. two ATP molecules are used, mm -hmm. and uh, the cytosol, one ATP molecule is used. So three and all. Two plus one always three. Very good. Okay. How many high energy phosphates are used in one turn to make one molecule of urea? David? This. Who in the mitochondrial matrix? Who in the cell? Okay, very good. What is the main regulatory enzyme for this entire cycle? Anybody? I guess answer. This is um, carbon phosphate synthetase 1. Yes, very good. Correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how can the entire urea cycle be controlled if this is the main regulatory enzyme? How? Oh. What you mean? N acetylglutamate mm -hmm. is an allosteric activator. Oh. Don't rush me. Um, Sorry. For carbamol phosphate synthetase 1. Mm -hmm. Since so this is the main regulatory enzyme mm -hmm. for the entire urea cycle, by affecting this activity, it will affect the whole cycle. When an acetylbutamate is in high concentration or high amounts, the, the the synthesizing of carbon phosphate from carbon dioxide, ammonia, together with two ATPs, will take place. When n acetylbutamate which is the activator for the carbon phosphate, synthesis one, when this is in low concentration, it will affect the rate at which Carbon phosphate is being produced. Very good. Okay, let's do a recap. Which of the two enzymes used in the mitochondrial matrix? Well, from this structure, mm -hmm. mitochondrial matrix. Mm -hmm. um, Just two enzymes. CPS1. Mm -hmm. Sure, it's not two? No, two is not associated with the urea cycle. Okay. And the other one? On a thin trans carbon models. Okay, and the three enzymes used in the cytosol? Arginine succinate synthesis, mm -hmm. which catalyzes the reaction That's of one. citrulline from citrulline to arginine succinate. Yes. The other one is the production of arginine. The enzyme that catalyzes that reaction, arginine. Succinate lies. The other reaction 
is from Ajmin to Onafin by Ajmis. Right? With together with the production of Urea. Right. Talking about Urea. Where do we get the first nitrogen atom? Free ammonia. Good. What about the second nitrogen atom? Aspartate. Okay. What about carbon? Carbon dioxide. Okay, very good. Okay. One last thing we need to cover. Let's say this enzyme, arginase, was missing from the cycle. What would happen, Harry? Urea would not be produced. Hmm. How so? Because... <laughs> Harry! Oh my god. It's actually a seizure. Somebody call the ambulance! Thank you. 